you very much indeed for taking your time out of your day to come and join us here at Vanilla IP for another in our series of, of webinars talking about uh, product services opportunities in the marketplace. Uh, we're delighted to be joined by a number of new faces. Um, welcome if this is your first attendance at a Vanilla IP uh, webinar event. Uh, of course, back uh, in the good old days, this was a rare and splendid thing when you joined a, a remote meeting and queued in to listen to a presentation. Uh, this is this is once a day or twice a day or three times a day these days. So we are um, we are in an interesting place. And what we're going to talk about today is um, one of the products that I think is going to be most influential, both in terms of the customer experience, but in terms of the shaping of what is now the requirement and, and the desire for communications in the uh, UK. We're going to be talking about uh, a product currently called UC1 Trio. Um, but as I'll try and explain during the course of this, this is Cisco Broadsoft bringing in step by step the full WebEx experience and opening up a fantastic portfolio of very flexible and practical tools all the way from uh, a simple soft phone up to a, a webinar, broadcast webinar uh, type of, uh, of meeting room. So the journey is, is only part done, um, but conveniently for us all, as we go into uh, what will be an extraordinary uh, upturn in, in uh, new business sales and, and customer conversions, this is a, a really practical set of tools for people to engage in. So I, I'm going to start off with a couple of overviews and a couple of points. We're going to jump in. I'm not going to do the deepest dive on the product, but for those of you who are not familiar with it, I'm just going to touch on some of the key element points and, and again, point out why this is going to be quite a, 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 a disruptive product for you to use in a marketplace that's now very alert. And, and this whole idea that the marketplace awakens to uh, modern technology is the, 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 the beneficial reality of what has been a very troubling three months or so. Uh, and with our friends uh, at Zoom, especially giving their product away free, uh, the guys at Teams, Microsoft Teams, having product offers that their people can use, and, and Cisco uh, WebEx being maybe at the, the more senior end, a, a reliable and, and well-established uh, meetings tool. Um, it's changed the understanding of the average buyer. The cat is out of the bag, a good old frame, but, a phrase, but it, it couldn't be more true the, a time poor, heads down, not looking type of SME marketplace who needed to be convinced about the opportunity of flexible working, about the opportunity of remote working tools, about the, 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 the practicality of changing the way that we talk to our suppliers, our, our colleagues and our customers. Um, it, what COVID-19 has done and, and, and what the use of these free or, or already uh, deployed apps has done, it's awakened buyers to the potential of working differently and the cost savings that come either through staff productivity, staff happiness because they're not commuting in, uh, or, or simply that it's a, it's a more efficient way to do business. So within this, uh, within this space, the, what we have to uh, start to look at is, is what are we replacing? What is the change? Okay, we've, we've had to work from home in a different way, but what is it going to have taught us? And the fact of the matter is, when it comes to virtual meetings and the use of screen share and collaboration and two-way swapping of, of information, is it's proving that the old way of, of doing business, which was essentially a combination of calls and emails on one side, and physical visits to go and see customer suppliers, et cetera, on the other side. Um, this new opportunity, this new way of conducting business meetings has come in through the center. This is combining voice communications with the sharing of documentation, the open explanation to either a single person or multiple people within a group, the ability to take the conversation on, to evolve documents, to change stuff, and, and really get down to nitty gritty discussions, bring in extra people to change the dynamic in the conversation, et cetera. 
It's meant that there is there is this new middle way of communicating, which is much more effective than the email and the landline calls, and much more efficient than the amount of time, physical energy, and fuel and costs that we have to put into physical meetings. Now, there is no suggestion that we won't be making emails and, and phone calls to each other. There isn't a suggestion that we won't be wanting to meet up face to face. But now, rather than as a convenience option, but the most practical and most productive option, we see that this idea of collaborative meeting has come through. And that's a fantastic opener for us to discuss with our customers, to talk about it in terms of a proven uh, uh, practical option to go forward. And then we ask ourselves the question, how are we going to, as resellers, defend against the, the big players who've really steamrolled into the marketplace? And I think when this kicked off, Zoom became the, 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 the darling of the masses. It, it's, it's the brand name that that made most headway, probably in the first six weeks or so, you couldn't not hear the word Zoom in any news conversation. But Zoom is a meeting room, and it's a very good meeting room, and I think we've all enjoyed being in a Zoom meeting, but it is disconnected from the everyday communication tools that people are using. Um, and to a certain degree, so are some of the other options that people are using. What we're looking to do is to produce for our customers a coherent and conjoined set of solutions which helps to bring together all of the oper operations that we've got uh, on the screen now. So office-based standardized communications, field-based communications where our people are traveling, and this core meeting tool. So let's just have a little look at uh, the opportunity that we've got with UC1. So UC1 in its basic terms is a soft phone client. And again, if you're running call center agents or people just simply want to have this soft phone client experience, there is a soft phone client. Difficult for me to show the difference between it and the next one, which is the, the soft phone client with the chat capabilities, um, because we run the, the, uh, the, the, the chat app all the time. But basically, you've got a stepping stone uh, set of applications within the range that let you move up and through. And whilst I'm showing you this on the, mo uh, uh, on the uh, PC today for convenience, again, this application is available on mobiles as well. So these services can be replicated for our field-based workers who can not only make calls, instant messages, et cetera, but also join meetings and be part of the collaboration space whilst uh, building that into their traveling day and, and having those still face-to-face -face meetings. So we, again, we're looking at a, a, a telephony-based solution that at, at its simplest form and then integrating either one to, 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 to few meetings or one to many meetings which will incorporate video screen share, reverse screen share and capabilities, and the audio side of things as well. And of course, because you can dial into these bridges, you can, you can record your calls into your own call recording stack as well, simply by using the dial-in number to, to make that recording for yourself. So it, it's, a, it's a consistent set of application options which can suit different people. And at the end, I'll go through the price points. But remembering it like this, a call center agent is likely to be using the Unity tools to do all the smart stuff. So a basic telephone is the key idea. Adding instant message and presence is a great idea if you're not running any other IM clients by choice. Um, and then also having this video and screen sharing capability is there. But against the likes of Zoom, you are building this into what is essentially the primary extension of your user. So just to reiterate, when you buy the UC1 Trio product, you are getting a trio of devices on which the application will work. If you're gonna work all three at the same time, you do need to have the mobility bolt on to give you share call appearance in the same way that you would if you were having any type of three devices in operation at the same time. Uh, but it also gives you this option between soft phone, soft phone IMP and the full collaboration deal. And again, as a full SaaS product, 
People may not start with the meetings and they may want to request an upgrade to that going forward. They may start with the meetings tool and find that they're using that less and less and that they're almost always a guest. And when we look at the product in a little while, I'm just going to touch on the fact that not only are we talking about a tool that helps you work within your teams, but again, as you would now expect, a tool that you can invite any third party into the conversation for full collaboration experience, the sharing of their screen, et cetera. So we'll step through that. Uh, and as I said, I'm not going to go in, into it in massive detail on this particular one. Do please reach out to our channel management team and ask to share in a deeper experience of this. But at the end of the day, and what's been nice to prove over the last few weeks where, where this is the cornerstone of, of, of uh, my teams every day, is that it's a simple app. It's not a complicated thing. It's quite intuitive. It looks how you expect it to look, and it performs pretty much how you'd expect to perform. So enough with the PowerPoint. Ooh, that was me pressing the wrong buttons. Enough with the PowerPoint. Uh, let's bring the window into play. Now, you can see already I'm actually called into my conference bridge just so that I can show you that here I am on a call. But what you'll see is here, uh, and again, for demonstration purposes, I called in via another product, another uh, handset. Not in this case a, a Polycom on my disk. I've actually used the soon-to-be-released uh, Tango SIM or multi-network SIM. Watch this space. Um, but I've got a call conference going on. But that still leaves me the opportunity to chat and interact with other members of staff while I'm on a call. So, again, that functionality that our current customers uh, would be used to in our Unity clients. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time, um, uh, again, we can explain and, and show you another suite of applications that helps with call control and, and internal communication. But I have got within this single app the ability to chat with people, to share screen with people inside or outside a call conversation. So this is my extension. This is my hub. This is the only place that I really play. Now, if I just lightly brush across some of the functionality, just so that you're aware of what we've got, uh, as you would expect, there is chat capability. You can see that I've got an outstanding chat there, uh, and there's my, uh, my room. That's from a chat that was existing in my meeting room earlier on, and you can see I've got chat with my colleagues that I can enter into and open up. And if I open up Phil, I think the last thing I asked him was whether my sound was working. He said, all good. So we're pretty much there. Then I've got the directory systems. And again, as you would expect, the first thing I have on my list is my favorites. I've, uh, I've saved the uh, contact details of some of my work colleagues, and I've got them in place. I can split them into teams. So I can have here, I've got Krisha working down out of the uh, sales teams, for example. And then I've got my general contacts that exist below that. So my directories are all in play. If I want to search through directories, I can go through and, and run the search uh, criteria here. And that's going to access all of the directories, my system directories, my Outlook directory, which I've integrated into, et cetera. So as you would expect from your primary extension phone, uh, I've got access to all of that uh, dialable capabilities. If I just click into my profile momentarily, what you can see is that here I've got the choice between dynamically allocating uh, my uh, uh, location or, or manually doing it. So I'm manually publishing my location. I've got the ability to change my status. So my status in, in, in Broadworks or in Cisco Broadworks, I can change my status in here. And of course, it's the uh, an environment in which I can sign out of the application itself. I go down again to the uh, uh, normal sort of buttons that you'd expect to see. So my call history buttons, I can see the calls that I've made and received. I've got access to visual voicemail. Uh, and I can, within this visual voicemail, uh, click on to play it, to mark as new, uh, so that I remember to play it again, Sam, uh, to save it, to delete it, to call them back, to video call them back, et cetera, et cetera. So I can, it, it's full management control of my voicemails within this space um, uh, as well. Uh, so, and uh, my recent and missed calls will be uh, there. And as you'd expect, a dial pad, so if I just want a short pen, dial somebody. 
Now, uh, what I've also got is within here, I've got uh, all of my system controls. So again, as you would probably expect, as this is my primary device, it gives me access to various different controls, such as my inbound calls, so I can set do not disturb, call waiting, call forwards. And you can see if I open up this box here, my call forward is inactive. It's taking it through to my voice mailbox. Uh, I can shortcut that by clicking on the uh, right clicking on the um, uh, the cog here and setting it from that sort of environment as well. But again, going through here, I've got control of those sorts of services. Uh, I can open up a different BLF field if I want to from here. But equally, if I am a member of call queues, I am able to control my uh, login status of the call queues that I'm a member of. So I'm, I'm getting access to all of the, 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 the increasingly deep Broadworks functionality, but I'm doing it out of a single window and covering that through. And if I want to run my integrations, which I've got with Outlook or, or whatever, or even if I'm putting a, a better quality headset on here and I want to integrate to that, um, I've got those facilities at my disposal. So the application itself is giving me plenty of scope for co uh, controlling my services, controlling my calls. Critically, however, we're moving into this environment where we have these shared meetings. So uh, if I just uh, pop into my room here, uh, there we see the example uh, that we had before of the communication I had with Amy. If I wanted to clear my communications, I could go to uh, uh, my, comp uh, my room, sorry, and just go down and delete the chat. So that's cleared that off. But here is my convenient space, my own private meeting room into which I can invite uh, the likes of anybody, but let's just say I wanted to invite Peter Law. I can right click him, I can drag him across actually uh, and, uh, and invite him in. In pops Peter, I've asked him not to share his video screen because it's too early before the watershed for that sort of thing. Um, but uh, if Peter was in, I could offer to make a, a video call with him. I could offer to make an audio call with him. Or if we were already talking on a call, we could just share screen, et cetera. There's a couple of ways of doing that. If I was to run a video call, uh, I would bring that up. I brought that up just at the same time that uh, Peter has called through to me. So here, what you see is that, that Peter was sharing a screen with me. There's my video, happy days. That's probably enough for everybody, Peter, if you just want to share again. Uh, so uh, Peter on the other side is going to share something. This is the kind of view you get from that. I've got the opportunity to expand to full size and cut the, um, the screen out so I can get the, as much of the real estate as, as I can working through. Um, and I can rejoin it into the application uh, as easily as that. So whilst Peter can share with me, I could also uh, reverse that and decide that I wanted to share with Peter. And I can either share a monitor or I can just pick up an application that I want to share so if I wanted to share, Peter, my presentation, sorry about the fact you get full place me. How about that for an improvement? Um, you can see that I can now see in my control window what Peter can see. Um, but what I particularly like about this is, because I run two screens, uh, if Peter was on a, um, a video share with me as well, I'd be, still be able to see his face and his facial reactions on my second screen. So as a salesperson, I find it a particularly interesting tool for allowing me to see the nonverbal communications of the people I'm speaking with. So again, if you join us in conversation, I'm sure the guys would take you through the ways in which we as salespeople, we use this environment, not just to show and tell, but to view and understand what's going on from the customer's side. And that comes down to just clarifying what we've got in terms of uh, bringing in the guest link. You'll see that my meeting identifications are there. Um, and if I wanted to invite somebody into a meeting, I could just send them an email. I could copy the details uh, through uh, to take them to an email, or I could just send an email. Uh, and if I wanted to send an email, it would bring up the normal email box, and this is what I would send out. In true Blue Peter form, um, I would like to say the immortal words. Here's one I made earlier. Um, and if I click on that link, if I'm the recipient of that link, it's as simple as clicking on the link. It brings up this box for your guests to follow through. They populate their details. They join the room. 
Uh, I'm going to mute just in case I do anything silly. Um, there we go, opening up the meeting. And what we'll see in here is that there's yeah. Peter, but now I've come in as a guest into my own meeting room and, and I exist as a fully operational guest within that meeting room. So if I wanted to share my screen from uh, the other app, which is open on my other screen, so if I'm my own guest, uh, I too can share a screen. And I'm now looking at what I, the guest, have shared with me, the participant. So it's as simple as that to invite in a new guest to have them share with you, even though they're not uh, a, uh, an everyday user of UC1 perhaps, and your control in your meeting means that you can dismiss those guests away whenever you like, or release Peter from uh, his responsibilities as well. So it's a very fluid, it's a very easy, it's a very simple application to use, and it gives within an extension user service the ability for people to really conduct either normal calls, or to conduct the virtual meetings, and because it's a mobilized product, they can also be using it while they're out with clients, and that may be even to the point of being in the client's office and bringing in support from the people in their office, so that only one person is traveling, maybe the, rather than a team of three going out to see a client. So the versatility of the tool for you as a sales force is very strong. The versatility for your customers is very strong and the ability to demonstrate all of the toys that you want to sell to people within this application is also very strong. It becomes the window to your office, it becomes your way of not traveling out. So we have a great tool for us and because it's a great tool for us, it's also a great tool for the customers we're supplying to. So there's, there's uh, 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 a pretty simple overview of a pretty simple and functional tool that really gets to grips with the business requirements of today. And I suppose in summary as to why we are so excited about this, prior to the COVID-19 crisis, the biggest job we as resellers uh, and providers had was to get the headspace to get time with buyers to talk about what we already know, which is that these are highly powerful, practical ways of doing business, reducing commuting, reducing work stress for the workforce, changing the dynamic of the office space that we use, but most importantly, getting better, faster, more productive interactions with customers and suppliers. What COVID-19 has done for us is may, in, invited or insisted that everybody tries this style of meeting. It's been a prerequisite of our lives, both socially and in business, and the buyer is now beautifully informed about how convenient, easy, practical, and workable these solutions are. But where you can benefit and where you can see off the challenges of the specialists like Zoom who've gone for the meeting speciality is that you can provide a powerful office and mobile extension with a meeting room combined. Convenience and power that a customer will enjoy. And let's not deny it, it's not an expensive option. I see the investment in, in desktop phones falling dramatically. I see the mobile and the, and the laptop becoming essentially the office pairing. But within the suite of services you've got at a wholesale price, you have a soft phone at 225, you have a soft phone with IMP at 250. And that the whole power of that meeting room tool has a wholesale price of just 495 to you. This is a very strong game. And although in the next webinar we're going to talk about Teams integration, Microsoft Teams integration, this is still a very powerful and inexpensive tool for customers to get pretty much all those jobs done um, in one space. So I'm very excited about it. I hope you are too. Uh, I think we made this part of the um, uh, demonstration pack. So we got uh, our resellers are armed and dangerous and out doing this. So if you're thinking about coming to us and, and looking at our vanilla IP propositions in more detail for the first time, 
we have some high quality partners out there who use these tools to bring products to life. Telling isn't selling. It's not good enough anymore. Only demonstrating is selling. And this is one of the tools which you demonstrate because it is a powerful thing for customers to buy, but you also use it to demonstrate all the other toys that customers can benefit from. And this is what's making the, the reseller sales team so powerful in this new marketplace because even lockdown, they can sell, demonstrate, inspire, and change the mindset of customers better than ever we could before. So it's become a primary device. It, 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 there is no hiding place from it. Everybody is aware of, of, of the, the um, uh, meeting experience and, and also the soft phone experience, the collaborative tool experience. It incorporates the IM, the quick chat stuff, but it, importantly, it's your way of bringing customers back into your control and away from the predatory direct plays of Zoom and others. It is your normal extension. It is your mobile extension. It is your chat application. It is your ad hoc conference bridge. Throw two people together, it's a conference. Just drag them in the room. It's your invitation uh, 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 structural meeting as well. So it combines everything in one place, one deployment, one management tool, one training session, one set of things for the customer to really get used to. And of course, from us to you, and if you choose from you to the customer, it is true cloud. It is 30 days. We are trying to bring people into this new and liberated safe world of technology. Um, I don't know, guys, if we've got any questions that are coming through, but uh, I, I can't see them on the app at the present time. But uh, uh, if you would like to reach out to us, um, it would be great to uh, talk to you in more detail. Come and find out a little bit more about the vanilla IP proposition. If you want to just do some home research first, um, go to the website, vanillaip.com. We have a series of webinars on there. I'm, I'm sure you find them really illuminating as to the power of the toolkit that we're bringing to Marketplace. Do join us again on the 17th of June if you have the opportunity, because Microsoft Teams, I believe, is the big winner in this whole uh, COVID-19 situation, and they both represent an opportunity and a big threat to the reseller channel as we stand. And we'd like to share with you how we think we've put together a proposition uh, set that allows you to really play on the excitement of Microsoft Teams, but retain the revenue, retain control of the customer, both now and in the near future when Microsoft become a slightly more dangerous friend to have. So if you've got any questions, reach out to us. If you uh, would like to either research the old webinars or, or come and join us for the next webinar, we'd be delighted. Um, but for me, this is the jumping off point for the most exciting part of the communications industry that I can remember. And as you've seen on the screen, I'm quite old. Uh, it is our opportunity to make revenue, but we need to be excited about it. We need to be proficient about it. We need to demonstrate and bring to life the products and services that we can offer. And no product starts that procedure better than the very vogue UC1 trip. Thanks for joining us. We look forward to talking to you again. Have a splendid afternoon.